Don't you love it when your day is just going well, and then out of nowhere, you decide to check out your March Madness bracket, and you realize that you've lost almost every game? Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Duke, and I'm the Duke of Italy, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be reviewing Suicide Squad Volume 1, Kicked in the Teeth. Now, this book, actually, I don't have it here with me, because I lent it to a friend, and she hasn't given it back yet. It's, <laughs> life's good to you. And, uh, so... I guess I'll have to talk about it with some picture right here. I really hope I put that in editing. I probably did. I'm I'm not very reliable, but hey, let's get to the review. Okay, so first off, this book's uh, its setting is it's in Belrev, the prison. So there are all these members of. If you don't know this already, then you're probably not a comic book fan at all. But if you don't know this. Start listening, I'm going to explain what happens with the Suicide Squad. So the Suicide Squad, what they do is, uh, so Amanda Waller, she has a program called Task Force X, or the Suicide Squad, and it's about all these criminals who are in deep trouble, I guess you could say. But, so they have really, really long sentences, or the death penalty waiting for them. So what they have to do is they have to work off their sentence by working on really extremely hard jobs. And, uh... That's sort of like the gimmick thing. That's why the Suicide Squad, because first off, they have like a bomb in their head, like a little mini bomb in their head. They show that later in the comic after someone dies from that. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, the bomb in their head means that they could either die from revealing secrets or just failing the mission, or the other way they can is because it's such a hard miss mission that they just die via the mission. Anyways, and uh, that is actually a really common occurrence with these guys, so it's not just like, oh, this is a dangerous mission, and they're like, oh, no, we're fine, see? People actually die on these missions, and sometimes it's just they're killed. And it's like, it's like almost unnecessary. But, like, they make it seem almost necessary, and it, like, kind of kind of shows the nature of whatever character did it. And so, it, uh, death is really common, actually. There's, like, every issue, someone dies. Although, a thing they like to do is they add a bunch of uh, characters that, that you've never heard of, and they just send them off, and they might die or something by the end. And uh, so, Kicked in the Teeth, it goes over a bunch of missions that the Suicide Squad goes on, and there's even one that's in. I'm not going to say that. But they go on a bunch of different missions, and it's like one after the other, and they have just a crazy list of guys. Like, they saw one guy earlier, and like, hey, let's go get him, and then they... Uh, do their mission with him after that, so it's it's a really interesting thing about that. And so uh, Harley Quinn in this is a lot different than she normally is. Like you hear about her in maybe the DC animated Batman TV series where she's <sighs> a lot of innuendos and things like that, and she's a funny character. And then you got her solo series where oh look at me, I'm Harley Quinn, I'm fun, I go around with a hammer and I smash people with it. It's funny. But she in this she's like, oh look at me, I'm fun. Watch me cut off this guy's head. Even though there isn't really any decapitation in Suicide Squad. Oh no, a spoiler. Uh but like she's a lot more brutal in Suicide Squad and uh she shows how deceiving she can be with her nature. It's it's a really good part of the book. And uh I just kinda lost my turn about there. Anyway, so uh Suicide Squad, one thing it has differently from most DC things is just how brutal it is. Like, it's got some blood. It's actually, I don't think it has any cursing. It might have a tiny bit, but it's not much. And uh, a, lot, a lot of things that they like to do is they just show all this death and all this craziness and stuff like that. Like, you feel like you're watching AVP 2 only good. That's, that's not really possible, but like, it's honestly a good comic. I would totally watch it. And uh, they have like this system they like to do with their characters. Like, the whole story of Kicked in the Teeth. It's just, they, uh, they're training, go on some missions, and then it ends. But, like, it sort of makes a story with it. And the character equation they have is they have Deadshot every single time. Deadshot is a core character. And they're, then they're going to have Harley Quinn with them or helping in some way. Or just, they're all, Harley Quinn's always involved. And then another thing they have to do is they need a tank character. Like, in the movie that's coming up, they're using Killer Croc as this character. But in the comic, they use, uh... <clears throat> I forget his name. King Shark. That's his name. And uh, as their take character. And he's actually really funny in the comic. And it like shows some pretty emotional parts with him. Like he just does not care at all. And uh, they also add uh, a lot of times they have Captain Boomerang 
and Black Manta. Uh, Black Manta isn't in Kicked in the Teeth, but he's probably going to be in Volume 2 or Volume 3 or something like that. I think it's like five volumes until there's new Suicide Squad. I will try to review all of them. My birthday's actually coming up, so I'll get some money to buy those. And uh, so they always have those guys. Maybe Killer Croc. No, not Killer Croc. Maybe Captain Boomerang. And uh, uh, they always need some tank character. And what I find really awesome that they do here is they take a bunch of characters that you've never even heard of. Like, uh, you're going to learn that they have Voltaic in the beginning. And uh, they really have you get to know him and stuff like that. And they're going to have, like, another villain even. Like, because they're not going to fight a hero unless you're maybe going to find out what they're doing here. So they always fight some villain or something to do with that. And uh, they also have El Diablo, who's a really interesting take on the criminal, because they explain his origin, which is on like a page, and I'm just going to explain it here. He's a gang member who torched a house because he sold drugs to them, and they wouldn't pay him back on time, so he torched the house. And he didn't realize that there were, like, people in there that were, like, totally innocent. So then he got sent to jail, and he, like, went to do the Suicide Squad thing more of, as, like, instead of to get out, even though that's sort of like a bonus, he uses it to sort of clear his conscience from what he's done. So, in conclusion, Suicide Squad, Kicked in the Teeth Volume 1, was a very, very interesting read. It had some dark moments, and it was honestly really enjoyable, despite how brutal it was. And, uh, if you're not into the brutality, you're not gonna like it. But, to me, who can stand that stuff, it was about an 8 out of 10. There was nothing wrong with it, I can say. But it felt like it was lacking just a little bit, because the ending was a little lackluster. I mean, it was really interesting and all that, but it just was kind of open-ended, and it didn't make a like fitting conclusion that most things I have do. Like, Dark Knight Returns had an awesome ending, where it's just, look at Bruce, he's done things. I, I can't explain that, because that's a swear for that. If you've, if you've read it, congrats, it's a good book. Uh, so anyways, it's an 8 out of 10 book. It's great. It's not perfect, but it's relatively close. I almost gave this book a 9, which I might give a future book a 9 that I'm going to review pretty soon. But uh, this was about an 8. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I highly recommend reading this book. It was a fun read. And uh, please like on Instagram, Facebook, all those other things. I'm not going to link those. Who, who even are you? Don't expect that from me. And I'll see you guys later. Adiverti. Bye.